Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the pink pup. This fly was invented by Mark Burlingame in the 1940s. It's a rival to the well-known Mickey Finn streamer, and it's a great fly for both trout and landlocked salmon. It's usually tied in sizes 4 through 10. So the hook we're going to use today is a Daiichi 2220 size 6. That's their four extra long streamer hook. And the thread we're going to use today is Danville's 6 aught in black. So we'll start our thread back here at the point of the hook, form our jam knot where we're going to tie in our first material, which is going to be the rib. And the rib is some Uni Mylar silver gold, size 14. Cut off a piece here. We want the silver side to show out, so we'll tie it in with the gold side facing out. And we want nice, tight, even turns so the tinsel lays down nice and flat for us. And we're going to only run this about halfway up the hook shank where we'll tie in our body material. That looks about right. Get this out of our way in our material holder. And next we're going to tie in some four strand floss. Danville's four strand floss in black. A little easier to work with if you wet your fingers to start with. I found. Cut this off and get it even. Probably could have left that longer, would have made it a little easier. I don't like that, it's all lumpy. I think what I'll do is cut off that excess right there. And now run my thread forward. About an eye length and a half behind the hook eye, we're going to stop and save our work with a quick whip finish. We're going to use the rotary function of the vise to form the body. And when we reach our tie-in point, we'll capture that floss material with a couple, three wraps. Get rid of our excess. And bring our rib up. Touching turns until we reach the floss material. And then some open turns. Take your time and make them even. There we go. Get rid of our excess. Neaten that up a bit. And we'll tie in the first wing material. There's three pieces to this wing. And the first piece is just some yellow deer hair. We want this to be pretty wispy. Looks good, it's fairly even. Just past the bend of the hook, we're gonna tie this in. That looks good, cut off our excess. Jump our thread forward and wrap back to a tie-in point. The next color is red. Same thing, not too much. Sometimes it's easier to stack this in your hands than it is in a stacker because it's so twisty it just doesn't stack. That's about where we want it and we want that the same length as the yellow. Tie it in right on top.
And last is some tan or brown. I like to use the hair that's on the back of a white bucktail. Just a little more color variation to it. It's got some tans and browns and blacks in it. And again, the same amount. We want it to be pretty wispy so that it has lots of movement. And again, nice tight turns, slippery material. Sneak in there and cut off the excess. And jump your thread up to the eye and then wrap backwards to cover all the material. And when we're happy with the shape of the head, take out our whip finish tool. Four or five turn whip finish. See it or not. Cut the thread. And add some head cement. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.